Wake and County will continue to have community testing through the Wisconsin National Guard on Wednesdays and Fridays at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Resource parking lot in Sheboygan Falls through December 9th. There will be no testing, all, however, on Friday, November 27th for the Thanksgiving holiday. It's strongly recommended that you register ahead of time uh, via the COVID-19 Wisconsin Connect website. Registration does not give you an appointment time, but it speeds up the process at the testing site and prevents potential data entry error. Testing is on a first come first serve basis and is limited to 450 individuals for the day. And usually we have reached that amount. Uh, I just wanna update some of the numbers today over the weekend. Our positive uh, case count uh, grew by 110. It's now at 7,225. We have 2,199 active cases, and that's down from uh, Friday. It's down 262 uh, cases. Over 4,983 people have uh, recovered. That's up 372 over the weekend. And uh, the deaths remained at 43 over the weekend. And uh, we have 32 individuals that are currently hospitalized and our negative case count is up to 33,783. Governor Evers recently issued the executive order number 94 that urged that Wisconsin residents should take precautionary measures during the surge of COVID-19 cases in the state of Wisconsin. Sheboygan currently has is, is experienced a very high level of COVID-19 and significant spread throughout our county. In the last few weeks, we were regularly seeing 100 to 200 new cases per day and are now over 40 deaths. This order is in alignment with the recommendations of the Sheboygan County Public Health Department, and it stresses the importance to stay at home as much as possible, only make trips when necessary, such as going to work and picking up groceries or filling prescriptions. Only leave your homes for essential activities, also like school and grocery shopping, and do not hold gatherings with anyone outside uh, your immediate uh, household and avoid all non-essential travel and do not gather in person with friends and extended family members on holidays such as the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. Standing local recommendations include physically distance at least six feet uh, from the people whom you do not live with to wear a cloth a mask Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Stay home as much as possible, especially if you're sick or symptomatic. Get tested and stay home while awaiting results. Cooperate with public health officials if you've tested positive and had a close contact. Businesses and community organizations should use the WEDC guidelines when possible and encourage remote work opportunities to support physical distancing. Retail, hospitality, and restaurant bars need to encourage curbside pickup and delivery option, require mask face coverings of staff and customers, limit capacity within non-essential business bars and restaurants to 25%. Community and large gatherings are not recommended at this time as such sporting events, weddings, reunions, or celebrations that bring large numbers of people together Avoid unnecessary activities and travel within the community that puts you in contact with others. Sheboygan has really reached a critical point in the surge of the COVID-19, and this new advisory is a multifaceted, comprehensive effort to stop the virus in its tracks. The gains that we've made in the past year have been the result of our willingness to work together. Even in this difficult time, we will continue to unite as, unite as we always have for our city in order to halt the rise that we're seeing and let's shake out of the fatigue that we've been experiencing and make a critical difference in stopping the coronavirus.